Sandy says read and welcome to the channel. You guys, today we are going to do a booktube tag, a tag that we are originating here at the Sandy says read channel. Yay. <laughs> you guys, I did do a booktube tag series, like a three part series. Gosh, I think it was around Christmas time, maybe. Yeah. Six or seven months ago. Okay. And it was, it was a bit heady, a bit in depth and too thought provoking. You know, I was asking people to like think about the definition of words and apply those words to like characters and stories and books that you've read. It was heady. All right. And, and not, I think one person participated in like the first of the series and that was it. So um, I have now come up with a, a short tag that I think is going to be a little easier. There's still some thought to it. Okay. But it's going to be easier. You guys, I, I promise you. So I encourage everyone out there in booktube land to participate. I mean, jump in, join in, share your thoughts. All right. This is a short DNF tag. Easy. Easy breezy, you guys. And the first question is, what is a book you once put down, but when you gave it a second chance later, you were glad you picked it back up? Okay, what I'm looking for is you tell us about a book and, and what about it like made you put it down back when you did? And what about it made you come back to it? And why are you glad you came back to it? Okay, tell us about the book. Tell us the good, all right? For me, I'm going to say it was the Lord of the Rings series by Tolkien. Okay. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time at all, you know that The Hobbit is why I love fantasy. And The Hobbit is why I geared all of my own writing stuff toward fantasy. Oh, I, I credit Tolkien for that. Okay. But the Lord of the Rings series, when it when I first purchased it, way back in the day. <laughs> I, I just didn't get into it. Right. And I think that was when I was in either eighth grade or ninth grade. OK. Um, middle school for me, the the grades were seven, eight and nine. Those were packed together. So like my freshman year was still in middle school. Right. So when the scholastic book fair stuff was happening, gosh, it was either eighth or ninth grade when I purchased the trilogy. And I don't think I was old enough to dive into it and appreciate it the way I can appreciate it now as an adult. Okay. Because then, you know, Tolkien's really good at giving us descriptions and giving us layers and depth to stuff. Right. And I think just at that time in my life, I must've been looking for something faster, quicker. I, I don't know. I think that's what was going on because, well, and also I missed Bilbo, right? I mean, I had enjoyed The Hobbit so much that Bilbo was like the character, right? And so when I got to The Lord of the Rings and Bilbo was not the main character anymore, I missed him, right? So it wasn't until I was an adult and got back to The Lord of the Rings, gave it a second chance that I loved it, right? Then I could immerse myself in Tolkien's world and love it again. So yeah, there we go. So that's that was it for me. The, the book I once put down, it was actually the series, right? So question number two, what is a book you DNF'd that you totally blame on yourself? You don't think it's the book's fault that you DNF'd it. It's not the author's fault that you DNF'd the book. You put it down and you totally blame yourself for it. And you guys, I am going to say Dragonfire. I put this book down more than once. And it's because the font inside is, well, it's not the font. It's the font is fine. It's the point size. It is too small. I cannot read this book. I'm going to have to get like a magnifying glass to read this book. And I, it, it's just the way it is. I'm, I'm 54 years old now and my eyes are kind of ancient. And you, you can see that I wear glasses, right? I wear glasses all the time to get through life. Um, and this is, let's see, how many pages is this? This is 256 pages of really small type. I would bet this is nine point type. I bet. And it's, I mean, it should have been, let's see, 256. It should have been twice that. Now, of course, then it would have been twice as expensive, right? I mean, it would have been a lot more expensive to create, to produce and for me to purchase. But yeah, I, 
I, I can't read it. And so have I tried twice, three times. I've tried to get into it a couple of times and it, it frustrates me to do so. So it is my fault that I can't get through that book. I should check to see if it's available on Kindle and then I could read the electronic version because then you can embiggen it, right? You can read it at any size you wish, but I just, I haven't, it's my own fault. I blame myself. There you go. So you guys out there in booktube land, what is a book that you have put down and it's your own fault that you put it down. It's, it's your fault. You blame yourself. All right. Question number three. And you guys, this is the last question. There are only three questions in this short DNF tag. Number three, what book have you accidentally DNF'd? Like um, you, maybe you had to return it to a friend. You had to return the book to a friend before you got it finished. Or let's see, what else did I write down here? Um, you lost track of it in your house. I have lost track of books in my house before. Um, let's see, maybe your Kindle broke, right? So you lost track of the book because your Kindle broke and you didn't get back to it, okay? What is the book that you've DNF'd accidentally and what are you doing about it? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You, When you realize, oh my gosh, I didn't get to finish that book. What are you gonna do about it? For me, the book that I accidentally DNF'd is uh, Suffer Born by J.C. Hartcarver. This book, I is there a glare? Of course there's a glare. This is the Sandy Says Read channel. There's probably a glare. Okay, can you see that better now? Can I get it closer so you can see how nice, and then a nice cover. These are elves. These guys, they're elves. Anyway, um, I started this book after purchasing it at the Imaginarium convention from the author last July. It's been a year, okay? And I set it aside, something, I, I set it down, right? And so, uh, yeah, uh, the bookmark is at the beginning of chapter seven. And I remember there was like a lengthy prologue that introduced us to one of the characters, like their backstory, and it was interesting, right? And then we, when we got into the actual story, the book, there was a gal who was going to be connected to that. And so I would like to get back to the book. So I accidentally DNF'd this one. And what am I going to do about it? I'm going to review the first six chapters. I'm going to like skim review, and then I'm going to finish reading it because I've got it right here in my hand and I can. You guys, that's it. That's an easy booktube tag. All right. This is the short DNF tag with only three questions. I will put those questions in the drop down box below so you don't have to sit through this mess again. You can just see them below and know what they are so that you can do this tag too. And if you don't mind, hey, please subscribe to the channel because you guys, we do bookish stuff here all the time. Please encourage your friends to subscribe to the channel. Please click the bell notification icon so that you are notified each time I do something random, crazy, fun, and bookish here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in.